This will be an interactive Telestaff video that at least for the first viewing, you'll need to do this on a county computer that has Telestaff installed. It's time for HCFR to switch over to our new payroll system known as Telestaff. Let's begin by going to your home screen and finding the shortcut that will take you into the Telestaff program. By clicking on this icon, this will take you to the home screen. Your login number is going to be your HRIS ID number with no leading zero. For instance, if your HRISD number is 01234, your HRIS login here within Telestaff is 1234. As a temporary password, everyone has been assigned 1234 as your password. Do not change your password during the parallel testing that is occurring during the month of May. We will notify you when you can change your password to a unique identifier. Okay, once you have successfully logged in, look in the upper left hand corner. I want you to click on calendar. This is going to open up your personal calendar within Telestaff. As you open this screen, you're going to notice that any day that you are assigned to work, if you're on the street, you're on a 24 hour schedule. In the office, a 40 hour schedule. EDC, again, a separate schedule. Any duty day is going to show up as a large rectangular box in the upper left hand corner. For the street level personnel, your R day will show up in the upper left hand corner as a smaller rectangular box, color coded to your shift. Payroll is delineated within Telestaff every other Friday with a green icon in the upper right hand corner that has a dollar sign in it. The FLSA cycles are easy to track. You can see the beginning and the end of the cycle by these red rectangles in the upper right hand corner. Okay, now I want you to click on the information button in the upper left hand corner of your screen. As you do so, this is going to take you to your demographic page. I want you to take a good look at your contact numbers and verify that we have the correct numbers on file for you. If by some chance we do not, go ahead and email me, costellop at hillsboroughcounty.org, so we can make that adjustment. All right, what I want you to do right now is go to the top of the screen and I want you to click on the radio button that says Profiles. You'll find it between the buttons that say General and Assignments. You'll notice on this screen that we have categories and the first one I want to look at specifically is the acting category. It says can act as and next to that should be a number and it will delineate the number of areas that you can act. If you are an acting driver, if you're an acting captain, an acting BC, an acting senior planner, you can act as a lieutenant, all of these things, any of them that are applicable to you need to be checked off. If you find one that is a miss, please let us know. Move down to the next category, specialty. Let's check your specialties. Let's make sure we have all of your specialties delineated. If we don't, again, you need to get back to us so that we can tweak this data. We're going to verify it, but we need to know if we have something wrong. Remember, all these things go to your pay. This is our time during the month of May to get everything right so that when we flip the switch and go live in June, your pay is to the penny. What I want you to do now is click on the radio button at the top of the screen that says assignments. You'll see it to the right of the profile button that you pushed previously. As the screen opens up, you're going to notice everything is grayed out. You can't change anything. You can notify us if anything is wrong. But what you'll see is you'll see your shift. Okay, are you a 40 hour employee? Are you a 48 hour employee? Are you on the A shift, the B shift, the C shift? All of those things will be lifted there, listed there at the top under shift. And then it, it will work its way down to your battalion. Are you assigned to ops? Are you assigned to admin? Are you assigned to training? What station? What unit? Etc. All those things come together in Telestaff as we facilitate moves, whether you're being jerried or you're transferring or what have you. Just take a look, make sure everything looks good. At the base, you see the one that says shift mask. If you have an R day, your R day is called a shift mask in Telestaff and that's where you'll see the actual day delineated. If you don't have an R day, it's gonna say none. All right, what I want you to do now is 
look to the left hand side of the screen and I want you to click on the icon that says calendar. This is going to open up your big expansive calendar. Move your mouse around, put it over a duty day. As you do so, when you put that mouse over a duty day, it's going to show you the time that you should be clocked in, or you're a 48 hour employee, 40 hour employee, and where you're assigned. So that's another way to look at your overall assignment right from your calendar on the main screen. Let's work on making some changes with Intellistaff that you're going to do as part of your everyday business with HCFR. Go to one of your duty days on the main screen calendar, hover over your duty day, I want you to right click. As you right click, you're going to see a graphic that pops up and one of the choices for you will be add. Click on add. As that graphic opens up, you're going to see your name at the top and then you're going to see an area that says work code. You see that? I want you to click on that drop down under work code and look at all of the options that you have available to you. All of these are work codes, annual leave, bereavement leave, civil leave, that would be if uh, your jury duty is an example, emergency leave, extra time, family leave, floating holiday, um, if you're a Leary instructor, Leary is in there, military leave, MLOA, everything that we have is under this particular category. Most of them you're going to adjust for yourself and you're going to input seeking approval from your battalion chief. All right, through this video, I think what we've done is given you a good basic understanding and familiarity with the computer-based platform on the computers that we use uh, at Hillsborough County Fire Rescue. Additionally, attached to this target solutions assignment, you've got four additional ones right now. The next one is a detailed PowerPoint that will show you how to use the mobile platform which will allow you to log in through your smartphone, Apple, Android, PDA, and do changes from home or wherever you are. The other three attachments are some step-by-step -step shortcuts. One, signing up for overtime. Another one, adding annual leave to your calendar. And a third one, steps for adding exchanges of time. These are very important. Go through them so you understand it. Uh, I, I want to put it out there again. If you have any questions, we want to make this as seamless and painless a transition as possible. Give us a call, 744-5792, option two. You can also email me directly, costellop at hillsboroughcounty.org, and we will address your questions and concerns. These are the times to go ahead and throw them up there so that we can take care of them. If you find something that is not correct in the system, again, this is the time. Let's get it tweaked so that come June, everything is seamless, non-bumpy, and we have a great rollout. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.